So Google Docs has a feature that can be really helpful for um, both students and staff who may need a little assistance with writing or typing. Um, in a Google Doc, if the user will come up to the top where it has tools and select tools, you have a feature within Google Docs which is called voice typing. So if you click voice typing, um, and I apologize as I show you this, there may be a slight lag, but it will work. Um, it doesn't matter how the students get on the doc, if it was something you sent them as a template through Classroom or if they open one separately, um, that part won't matter as long as they're in a doc, this feature will be available to them. So if you click on the, the little microphone to the left and notice it, it does have English or I could choose um, a different language if, if you so chose. I don't speak another language, so I'm going to go with English. But when I click it, it's now going to type what I'm saying. Period. One of the things that they will have to do is tell it where they want punctuation. Exclamation point. So you can kind of see that as I'm talking, it is typing what I'm saying. If they're ready to turn it off, they simply would come over and click on the microphone. And then it's back to no longer typing what I'm saying. Um, it's there. It's a tool. It's not perfect. But as they go back through, this is a good time to kind of tell them that it will do a lot of the work for you, but you might want to read it after you have spoken to make sure it says what you meant. It heard you correctly and go back through and do a little bit of proofreading and editing. But it may be a feature that at least will get you um, for some of your students who need a way to communicate that typing or writing is not as easy for them. Um, it works, like I said, in voice typing with docs. Um, it doesn't really work the same way in Google Slides. I can't click here and have students do voice to type up here, but you can have them um, at the bottom. So if you gave a template of a Google Slide in here, you would do the same thing. If I say tools and notice it says voice type speaker notes. So if I click on that and turn it on, as you're going through when I click here, it's going to hear me, but it's going to type what I'm saying down in the speaker notes. I can click stop. And then now I could go to the second slide and maybe my response to that slide, I could type in the speaker notes again and the student would have the ability to, to give you thoughts by typing down here in the speaker notes. So that's just a couple of things that may be helpful to you. Um, it should be available to all of your students or your teachers and you can share this and show them how to do that.